In this video we're going to be testing MailSend with MailHawk and Docker for Drupal. We already have a contact form created. We will make sure that we have MailHawk in our Docker Compose YAML file. We will open the interface of the MailHawk and we will debug some email sending. So here is our Drupal instance that is already installed and we will quickly jump to the code base of it. There we go. Here we have a Docker Compose YAML file. And in the Docker Compose YAML file, if we just search for MailHawk, we'll see that there is a setting in the PHP container for the MailHawk here for the send mail path. And we would see that the MailHawk container is. not commented out, which is perfect. And as we just run the docker compose up minus D, we saw that the mailhawk container is up and running. And if we do a docker ps or docker compose ps, I guess, we see that the Drupal 8 portfolio MailHawk is up and running. So that's perfect. And now if we just jump to the GitHub page of Docker for Drupal, there is a bit of documentation on the read the docs on how to use. And here we see that in order to access the MailHawk interface. If the container is created, we just have to open the domain that you have, the local domain that you have with the MailHawk in front. So if we just copy this bit and if I paste it in another tab and just put mail in front dot. I'm opening here the MailHawk interface. This is how it looks like. In the previous example, we already sent one email and here we see the email that is being sent. It's eight minutes ago. That's perfect. So if we just click on it, we'll see that we have a message that says thanks for asking thanks for asking this was the message that we uh, added and and we also have a custom field with the value of our birthday date that's perfect so let's go ahead and simply clear the messages just in order to demonstrate so we're going to refresh and let's just open it one more time because i think when we open it new it kind of asks if we want to have the notifications but let's just go ahead and allow the notifications so that's good enough so it would reload and it would have the notifications. And now let's go ahead and resubmit our form. There we go. We are on the page with our custom form. We're going to put something else now. Something else. And we're going to see I am feeling perfect for debugging emails that's perfect and as a date we're going to simply say some other date like today and we're going to send the email again send the message from our Drupal website and as we see now we directly got a message from MailHawk and if we click there we are seeing the message and we see the 
content of the message, which is something else. We see the custom field that we created there and we could directly either download it or we could basically release it so that it would be sent to the email it's supposed to be sent to or we could debug it a bit further by checking the source this is the actual source for example if you have some HTML emails this is super handy because you directly here see the output everything the headers if something is being marked as spam or stuff like that you could debug everything very easily with the help of the mailhawk container here so that's it if you like this video please check the links in the description ask if you have any questions for this topic like subscribe and thanks for watching